again, it's Viv again, and today I want to talk about the controversy of our newest sunflower suit, Sunward Journey. On the Love Nikki social media pages, it was mentioned that this suit was free. Free suit? Oh boy, that's awesome, especially since there's like a sitting pose, and there's like this really cool sunflower chair background piece thing. However, when the event started, a lot of players realized it wasn't as free as they were led to believe. There were a lot of comments like these on the ln.customer support Instagram page. Guys, if you are on Instagram, check out this page. It's really fun. So confession number 1382. The anonymous confessor says, it's really sneaky of Love Nikki to advertise the Sunflower Maiden event as a free suit. It's only free if you have stamina saved up, but if you use your everyday stamina, then it is definitely not free uh oh and then there's this one right here confession number 1381 this anonymous confessor said i probably will get quite some hate for this but i walked into the new sunflower event that love nikki claimed to be free thinking that since it was titled free it would be a light stamina event however using the average stamina spend currencies gain ratio approximately two to one the event costs around 5k stamina something that many who don't save beforehand won't be able to generate through the event time period i'm glad that i had 6k stamina saved up before the event to be able to actually gain it free the suit is really adorable however i just wish love nikki didn't phrase it free which is kind of misleading so who is right is this suit really free or were we lied to we're gonna find out but first let's talk about how this event works like the instagram confession said it is a light stamina event you do maiden or princess stages to collect event currencies maiden will grant you from one to three event currencies so let me do chapter seven eight to show you yeah. so i just did the done 10 and yeah from one to three and if you do princess stages it's going to be from two to four event currencies which one is better they are pretty much about the same when you reach certain amounts of event currencies you get to collect pieces of the suit and here are the reward tier so let me scroll all the way up uh, at the beginning it's going to be like the accessory pieces and then the important pieces comes in at past the thousand range if you collect 1240 event currencies you will get the sunflower if you collect 1700 event currencies you get the hair and the beautiful rose hat and then when you collect 2150 event currencies you get the glorious dress and then when you reach the end with 2450 event currencies you will get the beautiful sitting sunflower background now let's look at the event cost on average you are going to get one event currency for every two stamina spent since you need 2450 event currency to complete the suit that is a little less than 5000 stamina needed now of course the cost is not going to be the same for everyone some people are going to be luckier and get two to three event currencies most of the time they'll likely finish in under 5000 stamina then there are those unlucky people who are gonna keep getting ones and two event currencies non-stop and that's gonna cost over 5000 stamina but overall the average is going to be about 5k stamina now for those who don't save stamina, will you get that 5k stamina in time without the use of diamonds? The answer is yes. Oh, Lily Sky, thank you so much for the follow. Oh no, I did not turn off alerts. Anyway, the reason is because this is a 14 day event. This event is longer than our normal seven day event. We have doubled the time to finish it. For me, I am not a stamina saver, obviously. I have 40 <laughs> out of uh, 158, which is my max. And I actually ended up finishing my suit on day 7 of the event as a V11. But Viv! You have that VIP stamina, what about V0s? Well, for a V0, the answer is also yes. You will get that 5k stamina without the use of diamonds. Let's do some stamina calculations. So this is my handy dandy 
spreadsheet. I love spreadsheets, by the way. So column A, this is where you are going to get your stamina from. Column B, uh, this just shows how many staminas you get like explanation of it and then here's the duration of the event all right where can you get stamina natural regenerating stamina so you are going to get one stamina every five minutes this is if you have no stamina save that all if you are saving stamina this does not apply to you in day one you get 288 stamina in day seven you can gain 2016 stamina and on day 14 holy moly four thousand and thirty two stamina you're pretty much done with the event almost not quite though and then the next friends you can get 50 max stamina a day if your friends give you stamina and in a duration of an event that's 700 bonus stamina <gasps> That is so much. Association awards. You get 35 max a day if you are in a five-star association. And during the course of the event, you can gain a total of 490 from here. That's awesome. And then stamina time. Ah, my favorite place to get stamina. 30 a day on the weekdays and 60 a day on the weekends is for stamina time. And you can get a total of 540 here. Second stamina time, it's going to be 60 a day. And you can get a total of 840 during the duration of this event. Nice. And then the rest is going to be daily quest of. So pretty much play the game and you will get all this stamina right here there's also a sign in bonus like i am assuming the worst here if you only get 40 stamina during the two weeks yeah most people will get more than 40 i think and then vip bonus assuming you're v0 and you get none from here all right here's the total in the duration of the event, if you do all of this stuff right here, you will get 7,258 stamina, which is more than enough to get the suit. Even if you are extremely unlucky and get ones and twos each time, you will complete it. You can't just believe. <laughs> okay, let's do something else. Let's pretend that... You have no friends and you have no guild. Let's remove this. Ugh. Oh man, your stamina count dropped by a thousand. So if you have no friends and if you have no association, you will get 6,000 stamina during the course of the event, which is still over the 5,000 goal, which is still more than enough. So all you need to do is play the game ah. so in conclusion if you log in every day and do your dailies diligently even without buying diamonds or saving stamina you will be able to get this suit for free you will very likely finish early too even as a v0 however i do agree with the complaints on the instagram that this suit is not free because you have to work for it like for me when i was doing this event in the chinese server I actually wasn't able to complete it. <gasps> I know. I went on vacation for a week and I didn't have access to the game. I came back home and found out that I couldn't save enough stamina in time. So in that case, it wasn't free for me. I think the proper word for the suit is welfare suit since it doesn't require diamonds to complete so guys let me know your opinions on the comments below. Were you able to complete the suit and do you believe this suit is free? or not. I'm interested in knowing your thoughts on this because it did spark a lot of anger from players. All right, that is all for me. Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you want to see more Love Nikki and Miracle Nikki stuff, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. I'll see you next time.